Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It's nine o'clock on a Wednesday. It's time for a Hidden Gems. So what is a Hidden Gems? Well, the idea is very simple. Uh, I take a trick that's been around for many, many years and I talk about why it's so good. I really believe that this is important because we stand on the shoulders of giants. A lot of the tricks that are buried in books or online lectures or even been marketed in the past have been lost in the sands of time because everybody is pushing forward to buy that latest and greatest trick, that new trick that everyone's excited about out and everybody forgets about the tricks that have come out from years gone by. This is a perfect example. And this is really, although it's a trick, uh, I don't see anyone talking about this anymore. And this is really more of a utility item. The stuff you can do with this is brilliant. And it was created by a company who didn't have the best reputation, Sans Mines. Now, Sans Mines had a terrible reputation for good reason. A lot of their tricks were very, very bad. But some of the stuff was very good. The Vanishing Ring was great. The uh, light em up was great. And this that I'm about to talk about this week was incredible. This is called the Silent Assistant hidden in plain sight. And it comes with a really cool tutorial with lots of different routines. I'm gonna to talk to you exactly what this is. And I'm gonna perform a uh, routine that I tend to use this for all of the time. Now I've got three or four of these. These are amazing. What is it? Well, basically it is a gimmick, which I will take out for you if I can take it out. Dear me, there it is, right. It's a gimmick like this. And this gimmick uh, fits on your middle finger, a little bit like a Sonata gimmick, but over one finger instead of two. It fits over your finger. When it's in there, it's there for good. Like, it's, it's, uh, it, you can't see anything. It's a little bit like a thumb tip. You can, uh, you can show your hands. Your hands look empty, but it's there when you need it. When it's in your pocket, you can get into it in literally a second. You just put your hand in your pocket. You push it into your hand, and it's there, and it's in position. It doesn't allow, it doesn't stop you from picking other things up. Uh, you can write with it, you can do whatever you want with it, but it's there whenever you need it to be able to perform some absolute miracles. So what is it? Well, inside here, you have a very strong magnet. And the magnet's kind of curved. So what happens is the magnet goes around your finger. So in essence, this replaces a, uh, a PK ring. If you've ever seen any weird and wonderful routines using a PK ring, this allows you to do any of those routines, but without actually needing to wear the PK ring. Um, if you've ever seen a routine where the person explaining the routine will say, okay, now get yourself a little magnet and put some, put a plaster on your hand and put the plaster over the magnet that will uh, allow you to pick up the thing secretly. That's all well and good, but sometimes wearing a plaster, it's kind of a little bit weird. This allows you to do the exact same thing, but without needing a plaster. This just sits in your pocket and uh, you, you can wear it at the top of the finger, you can wear it at the bottom of the finger, but it allows you to basically turn your hand into a superpower magnet when you need it and you can ditch it within a second. If you have a magnet in your back pocket, uh, why I like to call a butt magnet if you've seen any of my routines, you can literally just touch this to the butt magnet and it will just stick to your back, so you, you can, it'll stick to your back pocket. And if you're wearing a jacket over your back pocket, that's how you can retrieve it very, very easily. It can be there when you need it and you can ditch it second later. Now you also get with this a couple of magnets. These are very thin, flat, near dominion magnets that you can uh, you can use uh, in conjunction with this. Uh, but obviously anything that's magnetic you can use with this. So for example, uh, um, a, 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 um, you know, coins, a lot of coins are magnetic. Uh, anything that's magnetic you can use this for. So I'm going to do a performance of just one thing that you can use this for. Um, which is a variation on the cap in bottle um, by Charlie Justice called Prohibition. Now, if you haven't seen Prohibition, it came out many, many years ago, and it was a very unique, revolutionary way of doing a cap in bottle. Now, you can do uh, the Prohibition routine, and by the way, you can still get Prohibition as a DVD or a download. You want to look into that, but you can do Prohibition very, very easily just using this. So you can learn the routine from Prohibition uh, and then you can do it using a silent assistant. So let's have a look at a performance of that. I'm gonna show you a performance of the, um, of, of the kind of the Prohibition cap and bottle style routine. And then when I've shown you a performance of it, we'll just bring this back and I'll talk about the other things. Uh, I've got Jack be. behind the camera. Hello. Jack has not seen this, so I'm gonna perform it for him. Uh, Jack, I've got a <coughs> bottle of Corona. Yeah, that's, that's not Reagan's, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> uh, although I nicked it from her stash. Uh, but we got Corona, and um, we've also got a uh, a bottle cap, the Corona bottle cap. I took it off. I poured the beer out for Reagan, and um, 
because it's the middle of the day, so why not? And uh, the, I bent the bottle cap in half like this. Now, if I told you I could get this into the bottle, would that be good? Yeah, it depends how you do it. Well, if I did it like that, would you be impressed? No, not really. Of course you wouldn't be impressed, Jack. Why would you be impressed? Because that is stupid. So instead, would you like me to do it by magic? Put it through the solid bottom of the bottle. Would that be better? That'd be much better. Okay, so you're going to do me a favour. You're going to watch the uh, watch the bottle. You've got to watch the bottle cap. You've got to watch everything. It happens on the count of three. That's one. It can sometimes hurt. Two. <laughs> and that, my friend, is how you put a bottle cap inside a bottle. So there you go. I mean, that's a very simple use of this gimmick, but there's so many things you can do with this. Imagine doing a chop cup routine with a borrowed cup and a borrowed bill and not having anything else in play. And yet you can do a chop cup routine with a borrowed cup because the, the silent assistant will make your hand magnetic when you need it and you can ditch it and get rid of it when you don't need it. That's an example of something that you can do. Uh, there's a ton of stuff you can do with this. You can do haunted decks. In fact, if anybody's interested, I could probably do a hows and whys of the silent assistant and I could talk about all of the different routines that you actually can do with this. I think that would be a really fun thing to do. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. Specifically with the cap and bottle that I just showed you, I mean, how practical is that? You could literally borrow, as long as you have an extra cap with you, you can borrow the cap and the bottle, you can have them give you the bottle, you can tip the uh, the beer out of it, you can squidge the cap, you can drop it in, take it out, do the routine, and everything's left examinable, and it's a borrowed cap and a borrowed bottle. I mean, when you think about it, what's not to love? That's a very, very strong way of doing a cap and bottle. It's not the best cap and bottle, in my opinion. The best is Justin Miller's, but it's, it's a very close second. Um, that's just one thing that you can do with this, but that cap and bottle, uh, instant reset, examinable, borrowed items super visual you know what's not to love so if you want to learn that you go pick up prohibition by charlie justice and then go pick yourself up a silent assistant but if you've got a silent assistant there is so much more than you can do with it as well and it's criminal i, I you know i i can't believe that not more people talk about this and not more people use it i really thought when this came out uh, which was years and years and years ago now, I thought this would be a mainstay of gimmicks, a little bit like the thumb tip and the Sonata gimmick, something that people would talk about over and over again for years. But that's not the case. But it's still available. You can still pick it up from all good magic dealers. And, um, you know, you can you can pick it up and you can, uh, you know, you can... You can to do the routine and any other routines that you want to do as well so yeah it's called uh it's called silent assistant and uh you can pick it up from all good magic dealers it is this week's hidden gems so there you go that's this week's hidden gems it's uh silent assistant by sans minds do me a favor let me know what you think in the comments down below now you want to see more videos like this like the video subscribe to the channel leave a comment down below i'm going to be back again soon with another video so i'm going to be back again soon uh with another video don't forget if you want to check out the net tricks please do so it's www.thenettricks.com see what all the fuss is about and if you haven't checked out the craig and Ryland review show you can do that by going and checking out um the uh, magic tv it, it got uploaded today at five o'clock i'll see you again Again soon thank you so much for watching my name's craig from magic tv